Hi there folks, this is Mr. Collie and in today's demo we're going to look at this from the if and else lesson in your Python unit. We have here some starter code which outputs the message what's your name, gets the user to type in some input on the keyboard and assigns it, stores it in the user variable. It then outputs hello user. Now the demo here, I'm going to show you how to extend this program so that it recognizes one particular name and treats it differently. So I want a different message to appear for, we're going to use the name Elizabeth. So when the user inputs Elizabeth, I want it to display a different personalized message. Otherwise, I want it to display hello user. So in my IDE here, I've got that starter code there from the slide. And when I've got two situations and I want to run one or the other of them, I use selection, which means I type if. And then I use a condition. Now, in this case, if the user types in Elizabeth. Now, what they type in is assigned into the user variable. So I'm going to need to refer to that in my condition. If whatever's in the user variable is equal to double equals, and here's the name I want it to be equal to, Elizabeth. In speech marks, because it's text, which we call a string. Then I'm going to type a colon, which is shift and the key to the right of your, the L on your keyboard. And I press enter. You'll notice because I've typed the colon that Python has indented this next line. So this next line that I'm going to type will only happen if the user, the user variable contains the text Elizabeth. So here I'm going to output my personalized message. Hello, your majesty. There we go. Close my speech marks, close my brackets. And if I press enter again, it keeps indenting because it thinks that I want to carry on adding more code into my if branch. But that's all I want to do for my if branch. So what I'm going to do is do a backspace there to take it back to the start of the line. And now I'm going to set up my else branch. So else and the colon. No condition after else, because this is what happens in all of the circumstances if the user variable does not contain the string Elizabeth. And what I want to happen in my else branch, I'll press enter, I'll put my colon so it'll indent for me is I want this message here, print hello user. So I'm just going to cut that from there. I'm going to paste it in my else branch. So what I've done there is extend that program using selection. So that if the user does equal Elizabeth, it outputs hello your majesty. Otherwise it'll output hello user. So let's try it. Let's run my current script. It's running down here. I've already run it before. Here we go. It started to run. And of course, it's running super slowly because I'm recording the video. Still thinking about it. Okay. This is now refusing to run for me. So what I'm going to do is stop the video there. You can create this code yourself and try it out. 